So we're about to call, call our second guest of the night. He's a pretty cool writer as well, So because I know a lot of writers. He is the author of this awesome indie manga slash comic called Space Pop. So if you're into space operas or space comedies, this is the right comic for you. It's really awesome. And the art on this manga is really good. I really enjoy it. There, we actually have the book. Yeah, Yeah, the, but nice, nice little trivia thing. They share the same artist. Oh, they so do. The artist, the artist for Infinite. <laughs> the artist <laughs> for Infinite. Not for Iridescent. The artist of Infinite is also the artist of um, Space Pop. So we're about to call Cory Mikael and ask him a few questions. Guys, if you have any questions for Cory Mikael, please ask him some questions. He'll be more than thrilled to answer your questions. So let's call him right now. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's see what's up. Hey, Cory. Hey, what's hey, up, man? We're here uh, uh, with Blaze Manga. So we already kind of introduced you. We uh, we already let everybody know that you're uh, you're a writer for a comic book. But why don't you introduce yourself a little bit, talk a little about your comic, and then we'll ask you a few more questions. All right. Well, uh, I'm Corey McHale, writer and creator of the space opera Space Op. Uh, it's a coming of age story. Um, that's kind of in the vein of Outlaw Star, Outlaw Star, Cowboy Bebop, um, and even something as recent as Space Dandy. So if you're into like space shonen manga, then you would love Space Pop. Space Pop, it looks, it's really awesome, guys. And it has really, really, really cool characters. So uh, let me ask you a question. How did you get started writing this comic? How did you uh, find your artist as well? Uh, I started writing Space Pop. Uh maybe 10 years ago oh wow it was called space pop back then it was called the last epic um but we went through maybe four arts before we found smash each artist kind of fell through with the vision i want so you know i was just about to give up on it and sebastian uh messaged me and he was still interested in actually doing the project I had started talking to Sebastian maybe a couple months before he actually signed on to be the artist. So, you know, we kept in contact throughout the months and two years ago, right around this time actually, uh, he messaged me and that's how we got started on it. Oh, dude, that's pretty awesome. Like you find your artist online and that's one of the mm, uh, good things about the internet or nowadays you can find a lot of people online. and maybe some of them are willing to collab with some other, like some artists are willing to collab with some writers and vice versa as well. So yeah, the power of the internet, right? Oh yeah, we built a friendship before we built that, you know, I'm the writer, you're the artist, and you know, here's my vision and all that other stuff. We built a friendship on a personal level before mm -hmm. we, you know, started going really in in space Oh good, that's very important uh, to have a, a good, a relationship with your with your team. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say, Pedro? Oh yes, uh, we actually um, are showing some pictures of your of your comic book on on the stream, and people are liking the art. They're saying uh, they're saying, "Dang, that looks great!" And uh, someone's actually asking Corey, Corey in the house. That's <laughs> yeah, Corey is in the house now, guys. Corey <laughs> in the house. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, but people like your art, and I, I've always liked the art. I, I think I've told you before that um, that I, I like, I really like the way the characters look, especially that cat lady. She's awesome. Alina. Alina Hex is great. Alina, that's right. Alina yeah. Hex. I yeah. think that's a, a fan favorite. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Even more than the story, I really like the relationship between be, between characters, if that makes sense. Like, all those characters you yeah. have are really, really that interesting. One thing, that's one thing I really wanted to concentrate on. It is an action shown in manga, but the relationships is what's going to sustain the story. Yeah. So, the, the story and the characters have to be concrete, and they have to make sense, and they have to be relatable. I don't want to do some kind of typical shown in manga where it's, you know, boy meets girl, girl hates boy until she actually needs him kind of deal. I want these characters and these female characters to stand on their own and not be damsels in distress. Right. Yeah, it's really important nowadays, especially yes. with the whole um, yeah. female empowerment. I think, I think that's why Alina catches on so much because Alina is a no-nonsense kind of girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She can hold her own. She's called the tank of the group, and I really can't wait to 
get into her story and show people. She's called the tank for a reason. So, oh, mm, oh, nice. Yeah, well, I, I'm thrilled already. I want to know more. Um, but what what was your um, main influence in writing Space Bubble? What, what inspired you to write this story? When I was growing up, um, you know, I was in the high school in the early, the late 90s, early 2000s, and that's when Outlaw Star and Cowboy Bebop were pretty famous. Mm -hmm. And those were the kind of stories I gravitated to. Um, they just have really interesting characters and, you know, the whole space theme to me where you can go anywhere and do anything and encounter uh, just different species, but they can still be relatable to what's going on. And those are the type of characters I like, right? That's the base of space mm -hmm. That you're going to be able to go to these different worlds, but yet you can relate to the circumstances and problems that these worlds that are alien and foreign to us, that they might be having, that we might be experiencing now that we can relate to. Yeah. That's important to make uh, the other worlds to, to show that the other worlds also have their own problems and everything. And maybe- Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and writing about space is something really, really wonderful because you have a huge area or different planets planets to exp explore. And it's oh, yeah. like infinite, it's limitless, the possibilities you can get with writing, setting your story in space. That, that's another thing when I started writing Space Pop, I wanted to be able to create standalone stories. If I wanted to bring another writer on or another artist and they just wanted to do something in the Space Pop universe, they could have some of these characters and create a standalone story oh oh that's nice and that was an idea that you know i can have this space theme and have these core characters they can go off and do so much and it really you know someone can say oh i want to do this with the character i want to do this with the character and it can be a standalone story off on doing something else so dude that's a really interesting way to approach uh, world building Galaxy building. Galaxy ah! building. Universe building. Universe building. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if you guys are uh, familiar with Lux Nova. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely, man. We we, give, we actually give a shout out to um, Mikael, Sebastian all the time. Yeah, he's a really good cool, good friend of ours, just like you, Corey. Oh, but yeah. uh, you're doing a crossover with him, right? We're doing a crossover. Um, the first part is written. But, you know, it just has to have the time, me and him, to sit down and really concrete the ideas together. Mm -hmm. But um, Lux Nova and Space Pop kind of take place loosely in the same universe, but we're like galaxies apart, if you really want to say that. So yes. we really can't wait to actually collide those universes together and show people something really awesome that we've got coming. Yeah, that sounds very interesting. Yeah, man, I can't wait to read that. It sounds really like you guys are putting a lot of work into it, and you're cooking. Oh, I, yeah. I bet you're cooking something really awesome to show us. Yes, we are. And I just want to thank you guys for, uh, you know, having me on your podcast. And this is the first time I've actually done a vocal podcast for Space Pop. Any other time I was supposed to be on a podcast, you know, scheduling differences and work, mm -hmm. which I'm at now. So. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Even if you're, even though you're working right now, it really means a lot to us that you're willing to be here for a few minutes and just talk, talk to us, talk to everybody about your stuff. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. Yeah. Um. Thank you, man. And today is a really special day because Iridescent turns one, one year old. Like a year ago, we released Chapter One online, so that's why we're doing all this really special stuff. We're, doing videos, studio tours, and we're drawing a special piece tonight. And one of the special things we wanted to do is have you and have some other artists and writers on the video tonight. And it's awesome that you could be here tonight with us, man. And one more thing, I love the 360 piece you guys did. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, man. <laughs> that was fantastic. And I just want you to know, I will return the favor. I'm oh, working no. on something right now that is really awesome. Oh, dude. All our care. I can't wait, man. Uh, by the way, I can't wait to, for the day that we get to call up with you in, so, in something, man. That would be super epic. Man, we just have to work something out, man. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that call up piece with it is just to keep each other, uh, how you say that, motivated, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I want to give, yes. give you guys a shout out and because we're all working really hard in our, in our independent projects. And I, want, I wanted to do something really nice for everybody, for everybody to enjoy. So that me and Pedro came up with the idea, hey, maybe we should put all the characters together, sharing something, hanging out or something. And we decided to make it 360, so it, it will be more appealing. Yeah. It's a new yeah. thing now. 
I have a plan, trust me. Oh, <laughs> so we... About your characters <laughs> very soon, man. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I can't wait, awesome. man. You're teasing us already. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, everybody, go check out his page. Uh, yeah, just type if you just type Space Pop on the search, it, it's probably gonna be the first thing that pops out. Um, yeah, um, uh, the hashtag is uh, Space Pop Company, also on Instagram at Space Pop Company. But if you're going to Facebook, it's Facebook.com/slash Space Pop. Yeah, All just right. Space Pop. So All yeah, right. it's very easy to, easy to find it. So you go like his page and keep up with his story. A lot of you are saying. That you love love the art, which just same with me. I love the art style. So guys, keep up with him. He's really cool. The story is awesome and it looks very promising. Yeah, Corey, you're you're getting a lot of love from our uh, from our, our chat right now. Yeah, there. some of you, some of the people in the chat actually recognize the space book when we show it. Yeah, we had we had someone putting all caps space space box. They were excited to have you yeah. here. Um, and somebody was asking you um, when when are you gonna create that eight bit uh, version. version of your characters. <laughs> they they said the, those characters oh, look like I it would be great no on a game. No idea yet. No, no idea. idea. <laughs> yeah. About the eight bit character. Awesome stuff coming up next year. Some really awesome news and just more art. The story continues. More characters. More galaxy building. Oh, just everything is coming next year. Right. Oh man, yeah, next year is gonna be packed. <laughs> next year is gonna be yeah. packed. Yeah, we recently got a, a big push from somebody, and all that's gonna come out to light next year. So sweet. Yeah, you were featuring um, Bleeding Cool, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, I was. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, guys, if you can uh, look up the interview Bleeding Cool did to Corey Mikhail, and you'll learn more about it, more about Space Pop and his origins, and yep. a bunch of really cool info. Right now, I'm showing the volume or volume one or one or you call it blog one how, how you call this it's, the, it says it's like this one. it says oh yeah episode one my bad <laughs> it's right there yeah, one, yeah. yeah. And instead of calling it episode one is a collection of log one and log two i call them logs instead of chapters oh, okay because okay. it just gives it such a more uh i guess a spacey feel technological like or... log one log two yes. i don't want to call them you know? Yeah, that's a, that's very creative. Yeah, um, I was gonna tell you uh, where can people find your stuff. Like, where can people purchase this awesome volume, um, volume one or episode one? It's on Amazon digitally right now. You can get it on your Kindle, laptop, cell phone. All you have to do is go to Amazon and search Space Pop Manga, and it's going to be in you know the, I think like the top five searches. And it's episode one is eighty pages. You get um, it's color art, some promos. Um, you get to see the Lux Nova and Space Pop promo. Uh, there's just uh, a really good collection in episode one. So, and it's a really good chunk to get you involved in the story. Oh yeah. Get you attend, know the characters and meet them, and you know you find someone that you know you cling on to. So, you know, just go check it out. I think uh, you'll be surprised and you'll like it. Yes. Yeah, we're we're gonna make sure to post links of your page and uh, all the links that they need to find your stuff as well. Because we have other guests earlier and we're gonna post all the links from our guests in the chat, guys, so just remind me. <laughs> but yeah, the, all the information is gonna be there. Um, man, I don't wanna keep you for too long since you're working, so any last word or you gonna give any parting words before you go? Um, I just wanna say thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to come on your anniversary show. Yeah. And I really, you know, love you guys' work and Keep it up, and like I said, I will be doing something with your characters and a whole bunch of indie characters uh, in the following year, so you'll hear from me. All right, all right. All right. Awesome. Well, man, thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure to have you here for a few minutes, and peace, bro. All right, thank you. All right. Bye. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, that was Corey Mikhail from Space Pop. So Corey was in the house. Corey was in the house indeed. And yeah, you, you can find this online and we're gonna post the links here in a second. Hey, Iridescent is out. Check it out. Link in the description. You will give me what I want. You will like this video and subscribe to the channel. You watch the video after all. Now click on that red button or I will show you the dark side. Now go!